for answers. She believes there might be environmental factors causing rare cases of cancer in Baldwin County. Leslie Pacey was recently involved in the documentary The Cells of Baldwin County. And tonight she talks about her findings with News 5's Allison Spann. There are rare, rare cancers going on and there's got to be a reason for it. In 2004, Leslie Pacey's daughter Sarah was diagnosed with leukemia. Upon diagnosis, Sarah was within 24 hours of organ failure. Nothing can prepare you for those words that, that your child has cancer. Um, and, and immediately as a parent, you go to the thought of, I'm going to lose my child. Sarah battled leukemia for two years before overcoming the disease. She's now a healthy, happy teenager living in Point Clear, Alabama. But for her mother, the battle isn't over. I noticed that there was several people, about six kids, including my daughter, in the Fairhope Daphne Point Clear area that had leukemia in a very short period of time. Pacey petitioned the state health department to look into the high number of cases. Alabama Public Health started two studies, but both abruptly ended with no real answers. She said they did, however, confirm a cancer cluster in Baldwin County. We decided that, okay, well, if state health isn't going to study this, let's study it on our own. And so the whole idea was to track the cancers, to um, especially looking at rare cancers and ch childhood cancers and then to um, study the local environment, try to partner with universities for research. Pacey is now working to raise money in order to conduct research on the environment in Baldwin County, namely the water. We're on a very shallow aquifer system, but we're growing at such a rate in Baldwin County that we're pulling out of that aquifer system at a very rapid rate, and we are now drinking 40-year-old, uh, 50-year-old water from whatever was applied to the fields, whatever, you know, applied to the crops, 40, 50 years ago is, is what we're drinking now. For more information on Leslie Pacey and her mission, check out WKRG.com where we will provide links to her documentary and her website. Reporting in Mobile, Allison Spann, 